Hi Hobby Fam, it is spooky season and we are talking spells today. Endless ones. Yeah. To be exact. Neither of our spells today are particularly spooky, and there's a lot of spooky ones out there. There's like spooky fire. Um they all yeah. And mine yeah. has skulls on it. <clears throat> oh, it does it? Yeah. It's like embedded in the frame. Oh, okay. which is pretty okay. cool. We That's can actually cool. we can show the people. Yeah, that so, I'm not lying. so here's what we're painting today. Um, I'm going to be painting this pendulum, which is for, um, uh, we're going to be painting it to go with the Soul Blight, excuse me, the Stormcast Eternals Army. Um, I'll talk about what I've done up until now in a little bit, as Megan and I will both do. This is, for, yeah, for the Stormcast Army. Our friend Andrew is going to be playing that at Old Town Throwdown Teams in a few weeks. And this is a really good addition to that army, because when the... Lord Arcanum gets to move a spell. He gets to move an extra six inches. That's really cool. Wow. So this pendulum, Good for him. this pendulum gets to really move. Oh, I love my endless spell. Yeah, you have. Tell us what you've got going on here. <laughs> I forget what it's called. Um, but umbral, it's like a umbral portal, portal hole or something. Yeah, yeah, I forget too. Mr. Should, portal. It's Mr. Check. Portal. Oh, we'll check it. Ch Chad will figure I'm it out. The, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Okay. Um, I have my book <laughs> turned to it. I just haven't memorized it because that's how I am but I love this endless spell I actually used it today to cast um hand of dust from Nagash yeah you did. I was so excited so yeah because it's it, you set up a portal and then um the other portal goes somewhere else on the board and you can cast spells through it which is pretty cool yeah um I tried to hand of dust your general but it failed yep <laughs> but I still enjoyed doing it yeah yeah um yeah so we we got our uh, models like I want to say 75 80 percent of the way there with airbrushing yeah and then a quick base coat I did I did the base coat on my mirror in like 10 minutes didn't take very long to get the gold down yeah yeah and so then the rest of what we're gonna work on today is making these uh, taking these the extra mile doing our edge highlights and low lights and just hang out with you guys. Yeah, um, they're really fun little painting projects. If you are, um, you, you know, they come in big boxes with like a bunch of them. Mm -hmm. Some factions have their own and they get sold that way. And then there's like these generic ones. These are some of the generic ones. They're really good painting, fun painting projects. Yeah. I think that kind of help like break up what you're doing with the army. Yeah. Um, I think for both of us, the only kind of bummer <laughs> here today from both Meg and I is that you will not get to see them in their basing scheme. Oh, you can sure. see here that I'm starting to, uh, I've got the cork on the base there. This is going to match the Stormcast Eternal basing that Saray did that I'm, that I'm, uh, he showed me how to do, but some of the paints haven't arrived yet. So I'm not able to completely, I wasn't able to completely finish the base. Boy, oh boy. Yeah. That's okay. My base is going to be a quick dip to match most of my soul blight. Yeah. It's, I'm going to keep it pretty neutral and simple. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's good. Um, listen, folks, we do want to remind you, if you haven't already liked, uh, please do. What's if you're wrong not with subscribed, you? which probably most of you are, please yeah. do consider it. And then go tell five of your friends and five of your enemies. Yeah. And tell them to tell their friends and enemies. Exactly. Yeah. Um, great. So, Meg, I guess I should hand you your, your spell portal back. Please, sir. Um, and I'm going to grab mine here as well. Yeah. Yeah. And don't forget about super chatting. Super chatting keeps the dream alive. Um so if you have funny words you want us to say or questions to answer <laughs> yeah, or things you'd like us to do, yeah, whatever. I mean, <laughs> it's up to you. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how to respond to some of those. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's, yeah. that's what we do. That's what we do. Um, yeah. Great. We just, we just can get going. Yeah. We're going to get going. Thanks, oh, soups. thanks, Soups. That's, that's very nice of you. Big Aww. supporter of the channel. As always. And in, many in many oh, ways. Oh, look. Ted got a membership. No, Ted. You're, <laughs> Ted, you are so... Wow, Ted. You're so fired. Where have you been? <laughs> <laughs> he has. Well, I'm trying to think here um, how that would have happened because he... Has he, has, he, has he tuned into any of our... He's probably just gotten gifted memberships. Well, no, he, or he... Um, I mean, Ted works. Like, I know Ted, Ted is a is, is a member of the Ted channel staff. I mean, I need he has painting. full access to the YouTube channel. <laughs> I know. So I don't know. He could sign in as hobby. Co well, what I do oh, is I, guess I, that's it. I right. keep mine turned off because I don't want to accidentally same, steal same. a sub. And so it's kind of funny because on the like member 
the member days. I can't even watch my own stream. <laughs> I have to be hobby collab. Oh, I'm a member. I yeah. Oh, so you paid for it? I do pay for uh, I'm a lab okay, rat. Okay, so we are paying for it. I'm a lab rat, yeah. <laughs> what can I say? What can I say? I like us. <laughs> I'm not a mandrill. I don't get to see the quarterly behind the scenes yeah. videos <laughs> on YouTube. I do get to make them, but I don't get to see that. Listen, guys, I thought I'd do something a little weird with mine because it's an endless spell. I'm going to do something that I know our dear friend and uh, fellow Hobby Collab uh, member is a big fan of, Brett, which is I'm going to not edge highlight this in ways you would think it should be edge highlighted with, like, whites and blues. Instead, I'm going to be, um, what I'm going to do, I have this white. Let me actually show you guys how I got here because I'm really excited about this. I also want to show you a big screw up. So first, um, hobby mishaps. Yeah, Put hobby, it in mishap. hobby mishaps. Um, Oops. The the newly removed. R I P. The newly removed hobby guys, mishaps it, channel. Not everyone's a winner, right? Not everything is a winner. All right, so let me Including talk to you guys about a couple things. Hobby mishaps was its own mishap. It was a mishap. Yeah. That's kind of a meme. So. You know? All right, moving on. Um, <laughs> right here. <laughs> what I wanted to do was um not have like blue glow effect all over this thing okay you did that on yours you didn't have glow effect on yours i'll show i'll show one of yours yeah and i like that um it makes it look more like it's well actually i don't know what it makes it look more like but it looked it it, it makes it look more like a actual summoned object with the with the fire's relationship with it I don't know how to describe it. Uh, I, I wait, truly don't what know. what is happening? Yeah, I don't know. Like, why didn't we want... I, why are you saying? I liked the way you don't have OSL on the mirror, I guess is what I'm saying. Oh. and, well, and it's um, not too late. Well, I noticed that... I wasn't going to do it. I noticed that GW didn't do that with any of their studio painted ones either. And there was something I kind of liked about it. No, it's not. It's very easy, right? <laughs> OSL is like one of the easiest things. So... Um, Megan didn't do it, and then when I saw it, I was like, you know what, I kind of like that. I'm going to try that as well, because it would be very easy to do. So what I did is I actually first painted um, with an airbrush the fire, and what I did is I just did a xanthal prime of white, and then I used this paint, this um, uh, Vallejo model color um, transparent blue here, um, which is, you know, it's like a transparent paint um, oh. over the white. And I did that back and forth a couple times to get to where I was right here. Okay. So there's no um, there's no real blue layer paint going on here. Very it's just it's just that. Now, then what I did is I, I used this color that I really like that Turbo Dork makes called Blue Steel. Mm -hmm. um, and I wish I had air. I was like, you know what? I, I, I want this axe to kind of be the Blue Steel color. Um, but instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do... Um, well, I, I am going to do the Blue Steel, and I did... It's, it's, it's underneath of this now. You can't quite tell. Um, you might go tell a little bit. I'll get to the color I ultimately settled on in about an hour or so. Um, I, I'll explain why I'm going to hold off on telling you oh. that, that color. Okay. Um, and it, Yeah. So um, I then hand painted this with Turbo Dork. And, you know, we, we have mixed feelings about Turbo Dork as a paint line here. Lots of good, I like it. lots of good memories. Sometimes it doesn't work so well, and yeah, it kind of burned. Difficult. It kind of burned me right here, um, on drying sort of weird. Um, and then I kind of went over with an airbrush. I, anyway, I I'm not sure that I actually appreciated it doing it the way Megan did it, which is hand painting all of this metallic. Oh. I sort of wish I had airbrushed the metallic, then airbrushed the fire. My bad. No, it's okay. Um, I learned a lesson here. But Never do what Meg does. But what I'm going to do now, folks at home, is um, I'm going to, you know, do like edge highlighting on the flame. Mm -hmm. And I don't, what I was saying is I don't want to just do blues and whites. Um, I'm going to start with white, bring it in a bit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to pink, have the white kind of switch to pink. Have that pink switch to this sort of darker pink as I get closer and closer to the blade itself. And then have that switch to this purple. So I actually want the um, edge highlights to sort of be pink and not... That'll be cool. Not be blue. I love white. edge highlighting and mixing colors that don't belong. Right. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, I cool. think it'll be cool. Um, as far as the rest of the axe goes, 
You know, it's kind of funny. Um, I've been looking at the Stormcast a lot because I am painting a few um, concussors to add to what Saray has painted for me in the past um, for my Stormcast army. And I'm having to match his his work, and he's kind of talking me through, and I'm, I've got the paints that he used and stuff. And um, I, I have to say it's very interesting the way he uh, works with these really nice metallic paints. He You know, we jokingly call him Varnish Master, and we talk about how mm-hmm. he does all these varnishes and stuff. But I have to say that he doesn't do a lot of recess washing, shading, and highlighting on his metallics all the time. What are your feelings about that? Well, it looks good. I mean, that the results speak for themselves. So, you know, to be 100% honest with you, uh, this axe, this pendulum itself might mostly be done. I really oh. do. Can we end the stream? I really, go no, get, no, no, no. Go the, get margaritas? The fire I need to work on. Um, I really am un- upset with this, uh, that the Turbo Dork did and create this texture here. And after the stream, sometime, I'm not sure that I'm not going to just shave all that off and repaint that. Because after the stream. <laughs> it's kind of driving me nuts. So you yeah. can see here on this side, it looks nice. Um, so, yeah. Okay. I, I sort of hate it. Um, I tried to fix it each step along the way, and I was got to a point, as I was adding over top of it, I was hoping it would go away on its own. And it did not, and I start to realize that I'm just going to have to <laughs> remove it all. Yeah. Um, and start over again there, which is really a that happens. Yeah. That's that's a hobby mishap. Yep. So anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna hop on in here um, and get started with doing a white dry brush. Meg, how about you? What are you working let's, on? Let's. Yeah, I'll, I'll let's, move this uh, here for you. I can talk through my process. Yes. Yeah. I got it. You got yeah. it. But sorry, <laughs> I'm a terrible producer. Um, okay, so I, here, I can set this one up while I paint the other one. Because this is, I get two endless spells to paint in one, which is kind of fun. Um, so we're here, I'm going to move, wait, I want it focused on this. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not on the one in my hand, so I can, so I can paint. Okay, um, it's a little dark. I got it. You got it? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so I went ahead with airbrushing. I, I did a really strong zenithal. And guys, I'm going to post my process picks in the Discord. Um, because why not? How did how did I get to this place? It's focused on this, I think, huh? Mm-hmm. Anyway, um, so I started with like a really strong zenithal on the mirror, starting from black. Then I did a little bit of gray, and then I did white. Um, there. And um, over the top of that, I did yellow first, which inevitably turns green when you put it over black. So I'm just working with it. I don't mind that. That doesn't, I'm just going to have like a green to red flame, right? Um, So I did yellow. Um, I went pretty hard on the yellow because of that. Then I added some red. These are all washes that I used or Citadel glazes. Um, Oh, okay. Yeah, they, they're so nice to use through the airbrush. It was really fast. The cleanup's really easy. So first was yellow. Then I did red. Then I put in a little bit of purple just on the tips because I wanted to deepen the red. And you can kind of catch some of that up close in person. Um, so the tips, the very edges are like deep, deep red with purple added. Um, then actually I came back and added more yellow. Because the yellow got kind of washed out. Mm, yeah, which, uh, more which, yellow, yeah. more a little more red, too. Um, yeah, and it was really easy. I, I think the whole... Th- I did it while... I think it was during another stream. It was okay. about half an hour. I think it was you and Saray. Or Brett and Saray. I can't remember. Um, and so I made a promise to myself that I wouldn't go ham on these. I'm just going to do... Like, I'm just going to bring up the highlights and stuff on on the base. Sorry, on a, on the flames. And then I'll probably do like a wash in the mirror and call it done. I just yeah. want this to be a quick project um, to go with my army. I'm going to need this for Old Town so I can hand of death on my enemies, which I'm very excited about. I'm going to um, failed today. I'm going to quick put this guy in the frame. And yeah. I just want to show after one dry brushing, like, this is what's so cool about the Endless Spells. Um, again, oh, yeah. we could like end here. Like, oh, if I didn't want to do the pink and the pink stuff. Like, look how nice that fire looks. Like, and this isn't me saying, like, oh, I painted a nice fire. It's, like, just literally painting 
pulling an airbrush at something and doing dry brushing. Yeah. No real skillful techniques here. But it's kind of exactly. cool that you exactly. can move really fast on these or you can take a little more time with them. I think, like, doing the Zenithal thing also makes this a good project for, like, a beginner airbrush user because oh, yeah, the yeah. Zenithal with a, like, a slap chop method with the glaze over the top is just quick and really, um... Yeah. Impactful. It looks good. So, yeah. Just a reminder. Um, I want to keep the lights going. Um, how are you guys doing? What Soup's asked a very important question in chat, and that is, what is everyone else working on? I haven't seen anybody really get... I haven't seen a response yet. Yeah. Um, but we like to know do, what you're do, doing. Do let us know. What and you're don't forget to vote in our very important poll because every poll we do here is very important. Yeah, and what um, does Zach do on his big day out? I, I promise this. I promise there's an interesting uh, <laughs> answer here, and um, some interesting he promises. Uh, yeah, it's not just that I'm going to answer it. I'm going to respond and tell you guys what I did. Um, I'm also gonna. There's a story that goes along with it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Can we get like a little meme with Zach on Bilbo's body? Zach's face, Bilbo's body, going on his adventure to, the, to wherever it was he went. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, so. I'm excited to pee in an endless spell, actually. I'm really bummed about this. <laughs> about the turbo. About the. Yeah, why I'm I'm uh we talked about it, I know, and I, you were like, I don't know, I think I need to shave it and I was like, just shave it then. Yeah. Why didn't you shave it? Well, um I guess I sort of thought it would go away. You'd learn to love it? <laughs> no, I I thought I thought that, that it would that's never That's stuff I've done before. I thought that it would never fully go away, but I thought that it would um each each addition of paint would help it go away more and more um mm. and maybe that is the case but it didn't it didn't go away as much as i wanted it to go away yeah like you can't what like would make it go out. away oh, just get, like, sure. out. okay yeah. i can relate um i've knitted things like 90 percent to hey hamsterdam um oh hey i haven't seen you in a while yeah um Knitted something to like 90% completion. And along the way, I have made mistakes, right? Like, mm -hmm. I will just keep going and I'm like, no one will notice that. No one will notice that. And then I, another mistake happens and another mistake happens. And um, I get to the end and I'm like, I got to frog this. And that's what, that's what they call it, frogging it, when you like undo your work. Mm -hmm. And I don't know why I'm like that. <laughs> like, why don't I just yeah. like call it when it's obvious that this thing is going to fail. Oh, yeah. um, I just need to like call it what it is, start over, move on with my life. I think it's just like depressing, right? Like you want to, you don't want to like, you don't always want to have to start over. You want to make it work. So your time wasn't wasted. But then I just end up wasting more of my own time. You end which, up wasting more. Which boy do I hate. <laughs> I kind of felt like, um, again, yeah, like maybe it wouldn't be that bad at the end or something like that. Yeah. I, um, I can relate. I'm, I'm almost done you. for the night. Okay, cool. You can help me with mine. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. No, I'm going to find something else to do. Don't worry. Um, yeah, Hampson, good, good to hear from you. Yeah, I haven't um, seen you in a while. An Eldar Guardians kit. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. All these new kits with their new That's not a poses. new... Is that a new kit? It says. Oh, no, yeah, it, it is new. new. That's right. You it don't... Is. Just calling him a liar? No, I forgot that they made a new Guardian kit. Zestical, thank you for your $10 donation. Wanted to show some support so you could recoup some losses from the model train store. I guess we know what he voted on. Yeah. Yeah. So what did I do what yesterday did you do on, on my day, day out? Um, yeah, should we end the poll? No, we're going to end the poll at... Oh, okay. Then you can't talk about it. No, you I'm You don't want to give away the answer. I'm not. Um, I'm just... I'm just asking. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, wow, this is going really fast. Let me yeah. show people where I'm at. Let's put it on the glam cam. Yeah. 
So this goes pretty quick. Um, <laughs> this thing really picks up air or dry, my dry brushing quickly, as you can see. So I'm doing like this gradient with dry brushing going from white to a darker pink. Now I'm going to do a darker purple. I guess what I'm probably going to do for the rest of the stream. Oh my gosh. Is Maniac. work a little bit more on that pendulum. Um, we'll try to bring the pendulum up a bit. Um, failing that taking the much longer then i'll walk over to the shelf and pick up some he's other like model. i'm gonna go back to the i'm gonna just go work on a different model well so yeah i can't the thing is i was like well i could clean up this mess i was talking about the the bum you can just start cleaning up the studio i just clean this studio. <laughs> i'm doing dishes i just go do dishes others. um i could clean up the bump that i was telling you guys about but oh, um, yeah, you could that's try. that's gonna require airbrushing and priming yeah so i'd have to go out and do that I don't unfortunate do that. Yeah. yeah don't leave me here i'm not i'm not gonna do that i um i i'm doing my own solo journey this friday for those of you guys that are members if you guys are not members yet there is a command it's uh oh, exclamation point gray name in uh uk and american spelling for those of you that don't know the, you know, can't read one over the other. Um, and it will give you instructions for how to accept gifted memberships. So if you're not a member, go turn that on or become a member. If you are a member, bring in more members, right? Mm -hmm. um, and then you guys can hang out with me on Friday. I'm going to be by myself, which is weird. Yeah. Is it weird? Tell me about it, Zach. What's it like, like, streaming alone and just sort of, like, talking at... Yeah. Nobody, but, you know, pe people, but, like, not people. Yeah. Is that okay to say? <laughs> yeah, they're not, like, real people <laughs> that you're talking to. Um, I think it's, um, it's fine. You know, it's, um, it's a lot of members, and we've, we've interacted with our members a lot before, whether in our Discord or meeting them at an event or both in many yeah. cases. So, it's a lot of people that we, we know, and then... You'll see people that you don't know as well, and that's okay. cool too. But everyone's nice, and you know they're doing their own thing. Is the thing you got to remember. Right. Like very few people, I imagine, are like sitting there with popcorn, <laughs> with popcorn. on the couch <laughs> watching me and Saray, like <laughs> go through this. <laughs> that's not the big thing. You always What's have to he remember. gonna paint next? Yeah. Oh man. So um, I think it's it's also it's it's kind of yeah, yeah it's it, it's it's great. Um, it's, it's a joyous time. It's joyous. I do. I like my favorite thing is hanging out in hobby hang. If you guys are, um, in our discord, make sure you pop in and say hi. If you see anybody hobby hanging, um, it's okay if you don't want to turn on your camera or talk, we just like to say hi and make you feel welcome, you know? Um, so yeah, uh, it'll, I'm assuming it'll kind of remind me of that, but we'll be a little <laughs> slightly lonelier. Um, but that's okay. So yeah, become a member, hang out with me on Friday, please. Um, it's Friday the 13th, so it's going to be a special spooky pit stop. Yeah. I'm calling it pit stop. That's fine. You can't stop me. <laughs> that's great. You can't I'm pit not, stop me. I'm not trying to. <laughs> um, here we go. Okay. So, um, pretty quick and easy bluish purple, pink, white flames <laughs> happening here. On the ether void pendulum, very very nice. Excited about that. Um, I'm gonna try to clean the pendulum up a little bit here in a minute, um, and that's gonna present its own challenge for a couple of reasons. Oh. Um, the paint I used on this thing <clears throat> is the type of paint that requires acetone to clean up, and so I can't really just use it unless I'm prepared to ruin a brush which you know what I guess I am we have a lot of bad brushes yeah I think I could try always keep clean, your bad brushes up. folks and I hate oh man, God, at least one you know yeah so um that's where I'm at and I'm going to yeah I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup now okay on it it's going to smell a little weird Meg um uh, okay <laughs> great um yeah yeah um, okay, so, uh, Meg, one of the things we do, um, have today, we have a quiz for you. Oh, it's quiz time. Yeah, we have a quiz for Meg, um, we'll do that here, and then at 5.30 we'll close our poll. Okay. Um, 
and um, I'll, I'll talk a little bit about about what I got to, to, to do on my day off. Um, so are you ready for a quiz? I guess. I didn't study. Yeah. I don't know what this is about. So um, one of the cool things that's been really nice about learning Age of Sigmar with Megan is that she has been kind of learning different things throughout her time. Um, and more, most recently... Throughout my time. Throughout her time playing. And, and most recently, um, she started to use some endless spells, which is why we're here painting them. Yeah. Um, endless spells have also... They, they, there's been like a push you can kind of tell... By the design team to um, have them be a little more prevalent in the game. Prices, point, points values have dropped on them. Um, yeah. And like by quite a bit. I was positive Andrew's um, Ether Void Pendulum was going to go up a lot. And that we'd have to remake his list. Although that's not true. I had built in a lot of space for it to go up. And in fact, it didn't go up at all. And you got to add a whole other flock of... Um, Ether wings Some into stuff. his list. Yeah. That's cool. I love those little birds. Yeah. So it was actually pretty great. Um, <clears throat> so, anyway, um, we have. Uh, she's starting to learn some endless spells. And um, kind of weirdly, to me anyway, um, Meg has been drawn to the magic phase of the game. Why is that weird? I have Nagash. Well, um, Oshkosh Nagash. It feels like a really. Like, lots of times you like when the. you. I feel like you you appreciate more simple rules. Mm-hmm. Um, the magic phase feels a little complicated often to me. You got to remember oh, all these I different see. spells, and you got to go through steam. Right now, we've been we've, <laughs> we've been, been trying to play it for like three days, and we busy. keep getting interrupted. <laughs> yeah, so we, we we we're kind of in the middle of it, but um, that was actually the previous game where you rolled the double ones, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, not this game. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's like, wait. But I... Wait, what is he saying? Sorry, what is Soups, Soups is making fun of? I usually make fun of when he speaks, right? But I do miss Nagash. I know it's correct, but I do miss Nagash. Yeah, because I think I always say Nagash. And you guys say Nagash. Is that how they say... Who says it? Then? I don't know. Everybody. The Brits really? get to call it. It's like their game, right? Mm. It's not up to me. I don't know. I don't know either. I like Nagash. Yeah, I think it's I think it's Nagash. better. Nagash. It's too, I mean, that feels more Saturday morning cartoon. Is it Katie? Nagash? Is it Katie or Katia? I guess that's another one. Katia? Yeah, it's a planet in 40K. Oh, yeah. Because I was going to say, I have Kato. 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 It's Kato, Kato but I call him Kato because I give him cat ears. Yeah. 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 Anyway, look. let's let's take a look at your quiz here, Meg. Oh right, we have a quiz. We do. Okay, yeah. so what do we, it. what we're doing? Let me describe the quiz before I hop in here. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. What we're doing on the quiz here is that I have um, included an endless spell that might be less familiar to Megan. Definitely. One that she hasn't seen, doesn't know the name of, and she has to guess the name. And it's multiple choice. I've given her four guesses, uh, four, four options here. Guess the name. To try to guess the name of the endless spell. All right. That's okay. going to be rough. Okay, here we go. The first one, there's a picture of it. Um, oh, oh, wait, actually, I have to, oh, sorry. I let won't me, look. Let I me just look. change one thing. Okay. Sorry, I've got two different. Um, Zach's a hardworking dude. He, um, you know, like I've told you guys, like I have a, there we go. a day job, so I don't get to help as much in the prep. Zach's kind of a one-man show when it's me and him. Okay, Meg, here is your... Um, so hopefully they forgive you. Here is your... Uh, here's the endless spell. You can see it's like a... It's a bunch of birds. It's a, it's a bunch of birds. Now, what is its name? Is it A, dire ravening flock? B, ravening dire flock? Oh, man. C, flocking annoying. dire raven? Or D, eek flocking birds? Flocking dire raven? I can see that being it. It's not eek birds, but I really want it to be eek. That's what we would call it. Eek, eek bird. birds. <laughs> <laughs> um, dire ravening flock. Flocking dire raven. Ravening dire. Okay, not B. That's that's silly, right? That can't be it. Okay, um, I'm gonna go with C. Flocking dire raven. Okay. Okay, okay. Did I get it? No, hold on. Don't hit, don't hit that. We I'm gotta, not. I'm yeah. not. So uh, you, you didn't actually get it correct, Meg. Dang it. It's, it, it's incorrect. It actually is Ravening Dire Flock. Oh, that's the one that looks silliest. Okay. <laughs> ravening. 
What does that mean, ravening, anyway? Like... Is it, like, ravenous? Yes. Okay. So, like, a really hungry flock of... What makes something dire? Um, it's... It's bigger than normal? No. Um... Yeah, uh, like, like a monstrous version of something, okay. I guess. Okay. Okay. Well, I didn't know that one. Yeah, you got that one wrong. What does this one do anyway? It just throws birds at somebody. Like, you know does what? It peck their you, eyes out. You know what? I actually don't know. It's from what? it's it's a beast of chaos endless spell. Ooh, I like it. So I wouldn't be able to use it. No, only beasts of chaos can use oh, it. Oh, that's a that's a bummer. Yeah, ravening okay. dire flock. Interesting. I've never played against it. I don't know what it does. Yeah. Um. Uh, okay. Here is the next picture. Okay, it's this gentleman right here. And oh, is, baby Nagash. Is this, yeah, is this A, Nagash boy? <laughs> B, Nightmare Helper. I hope it's Nagash boy. C, Nightmare Predator. Or D, Skull Waiter. <laughs> <laughs> Which one is this? <laughs> Nagash boy. Um, skull waiter? Like he's serving you skulls? Um, nightmare help. I guess nightmare predator sounds the most real. The rest, uh. Like the rest seem a little goofy. Like maybe I made them up. Like maybe. Goofy. Like maybe you made them up. But I like. <laughs> I like Nagash boy. <laughs> so I'm gonna go with Nagash boy because that's the one I want it to be. Okay, well, you're gonna be surprised because it is Nagash boy. Shut up! No, I'm um, just kidding. <laughs> It's okay. Nightmare Predator, okay. which you knew it was, of course. Like, okay, great. Yeah, he looks like a little waiter, right? Like, doo, doo, doo. yeah, like he's bringing you your arm. <laughs> yeah, you got to give him like a little, uh, a little, uh, a tray. And if you're Mo in the United States, you give him a tip. Yeah, a little model, a little tray up there. Yeah. On his hand. Yes, I would want to give him a tray and then take that hand. He's holding a hand, right? Or is that his hand? That's his hand. That's oh, that is his hand. He's not holding a hand. He has a hand. I can't. I mean, in the, in the sense that we're all holding hands at the ends of our wrists. <laughs> no, it looked, from back here, it looked like he's, like, holding an arm. But then I look over here and I'm like, oh, that's actually his arm. Yeah, he's... <laughs> so he's not, like, serving up bones. Okay, um, yeah, I I think it should have been Nagash Boy. <laughs> Oh, it definitely should have been Nagash yeah, Boy. Yeah, a little baby Nagash. Yeah. And then what does he do? He, like, you spit him out and he casts... Can we make of, a new segment called... Hand what, of Dust. <laughs> called, come on, Matt Rose, get on it. And it's Call just, it it's, Nagash it's Boy. Just, it's just a thing we expect Matt Rose to do. <laughs> yeah. Like, this was invented yes. before he even we should worked have, there. We should have, we should a, have a complaint segment. segment. <laughs> complaint it can, when when we complain about AOS, it can be Matt Rose. When we yeah, complain yeah. about, I don't know... 40k can be Sir Marines a lot, whatever, whoever's in charge of it's it. It's Sir Marines yeah. a lot, yeah. It is Sir Marines a lot okay. over there in charge of the 40k. It's actually Nagash Boy. Nagash Boy. Okay, Weirdly, la weirdly in charge of 40k. Last one, and this is one you could, this, you can't take this one your army either. This is Nagash Boy? You can't take him. What? Why? He looks just like I Nagash. I know, it's Bone Reapers. It should be his little, be his little, like, baby. Bone Reapers only. I don't get it. Here you go. Last okay. one. This okay. one you can take in your arm. Okay. Now, is this one called <laughs> Geminides of Old Gaish? Shyish Balls. Shyish Balls. Great <laughs> Balls of Shyish or Shyish Balls Z. Okay. What? Um, <laughs> okay. It's it's probably Geminids of Old Gaish. Old Gish. I mean, is it? If, if you pick that, you're really assuming that that's where this spell comes from and that it doesn't come from Shyish. Well, I don't think, <laughs> I just don't think they would call it things that I would want to call it. You made it too easy. Like, they're not going to use balls, right? They're not. <laughs> but honestly, you should have changed D to, because I know you made this one up, Shyish Balls with a Z. That's like the UK version of Shyish Balls. I, no, sorry, I, the, the A. Sorry, I did think America. of changing all I the... I have it backwards. I did think of changing anyway. all the S's to balls, balls to Z's, but I wanted one of the answers to be shyish balls at Z. Yeah. Like dragon... Or I should have actually removed the S, dragon ball Z. Shyish ball. But there's two of them. Yeah. So I think Do you I really did. know did, how to... Do you, also... <laughs> yeah. Do you actually know how to spell dragon ball Z? Because you don't watch dragon ball Z. I assume it's the word dragon... Mm -hmm. The word ball and then a Z. Is it? Yeah. 
Well, you put a space. I think, I think there's different... a space. It's not Dragon Ball Z with like the Ball... Z attached to the word. Is it? I like that you don't know. Do you so. know? <laughs> no. <laughs> I didn't watch it. <laughs> Anyway. Um, okay, sorry, guys. Yeah, I need you to know be what? taking this quiz more seriously. You do. And, um, it, and I think I failed, right? It is. Yeah, okay, I got it. No, you got it. Gemini's I got it. I got little guy-ish. I figure it does. I think it makes it so you can't use command points. Um, like, you draw a line from one to the other and anything under that line. They should have done something more fun with the ball. The ball aspect of this spell. Balls. Balls. Yeah, Mo, make you do pretty good, though, overall. Well, I have to say. Well, you know what? Um, it was funny the other day. I was like, because I have um, the gnashing jaws spell also in my list. Ravenax gnashing jaws. Yeah, yes. and I was like, oh look, Zach, I have two flaming spells, <laughs> as if that was like unique. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, Meg, they're spells. They all have flames. <laughs> yeah, I was like, dang it. It's <laughs> pretty much what all of them do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 Sorry, we uh, made it, each other laugh. Well, it's just yeah, like like oh my god, it, it, you think you think you'd be right? You think I would that have out, noticed that? That that, that, that no, gonna... that that would have been like a valid like, oh wow, observation. What a, what a winky dink, <laughs> Meg, you freaking dummy! All right, I am I am getting sidetracked. Well, I'm gonna um I'm gonna flip this and we're gonna take a look and see how yours are. Yeah, coming we along. should do that. Um, oh, oh. Oh, go ahead and just keep working. I'll, okay. I'll work around you. Thanks. Sorry. You're a good producer, Zach. It, it might just be that your hand is a little bit in the way. Since okay. I know. If only one of us was left-handed. If only. That would make the seating arrangements a lot easier, too. Zach's right. like, do you want to produce today? I'm like, hmm, Okay. Need to think about it. See, all right. Anyway, I'm just um highlighting up stuff. So pops more pap. We'll say it like Nagash pap. So nasty. Nice to get that membership. If we didn't do that already. Thank you, Zell nasty. Uh, ginger, you sniped somebody. Ginger beard getting a membership. Cool. Fun. Yes, very nice. Um, we do appreciate that, guys. It's an awesome way to help us out. It's a um, great way to help us out, actually. It is. It's fun. And it's fun. It's just fun. Oh, it's so fun. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You guys, in our Discord, make sure you join our Discord. We have a little, like, Halloween contest going on. It's it's super fun and silly. But um, go into Discord. Join our Discord. Dress up your uh, profile like you have a Halloween costume. And we have a Halloween costume channel in our Discord where we will be... The, the cast of Hobby Collab will be choosing a winner, and you get a special flair um, next to your name during spooky season. So go do that, you know, after the stream. Don't leave yet. Also, guys, I'm noticing that uh, we have some two-monthers in our chat. You see the little paint bottle? Is that what that means? You've graduated from paintbrush oh, to paint bottle neat. yeah so i'm surprised do you guys have like your little free super chat yet um usually members get a free super chat um when when a month has gone by so hopefully you guys use those don't waste them being goofy like last time or or waste them whatever <laughs> um okay so it looks like maybe they don't have their oh there we go Soups did his. Two monthers. Where? Let me add him. Why would you beat up our two monthers, Soups? What a weird, what a weird threat. Yeah, it is weird. <laughs> I like it. Thanks, Soups. <laughs> you goofball. Okay, I'm gonna um. But yeah, join our Discord. Do it over here. Do it. So I am going to uh, do what is always very challenging to do here. And I'm going to try to do a little bit of um, highlighting on a metallic with another metallic. Um, and the color I'm going to be using is this AK aluminum. Uh, let me... Alumin aluminium, as you guys call it, as UK people call it. Aluminium. Yeah, what aluminium, is up with that? Yeah. 
Um, there it is. And it's 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 pretty. It almost looks like Mother of Pearl. You can see it's like yeah. very white. Um, and I tend to find that this is probably my favorite color to try to um, highlight up my metallics. Uh, Broken Jeff says, much love towards the fades of the colors, but Meg, no freehand distorted image. Take a lap. Oh, shit. Oh, I mean, it's built in that way. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I yeah, know. that's... I, I, <laughs> thanks. I do need to take a lap. Um, I Like I said earlier, I'm being a little, like, lazy with this one. I just want to, you know, it needs to look good enough for the table. Even in, like, and I, this shouldn't be my only, um, what's it called? Like shouldn't be the only thing that matters to me but endless spells you don't have to usually include in your army right when you're like setting up for best painted army or whatever oh no of course you would do you really i thought they didn't in, like like i thought tom didn't include endless no spells what he said or, is that he even said summon them so like, one of the really cool things about old town or throwdown, or something like I, that. I was looking at old town throwdown and I, was, I'm a liar. I was reading how um Tom, well, you're not allowed to have um, different basing schemes on your armies. Oh, boy. So um, you actually... Um, I'm DQ'd. Why? You're going to base this the same as your army. This, yeah, but my gnashing jaws is on, like, snow. You oh. you put that one on snow. Well, he, he did say that endless spells are okay. Okay. To, so then to there you go. Room. But I... But they are on the table. Okay, then I lied. So maybe I should care more, but you know what, guys... I don't. I just don't. I want to get it done. I want to play with it. I want it to look decent. And I'm it's, happy with that. It's not like your base is hard to make. I'm not talking about my base. I'm talking about my paint job. Oh, no, uh, I know. Broken Chef is ripping on my paint job you, you, because I'm not painting a, uh, like, a, like a picture or something over the ripple. Oh, right? like, oh I That see. would have been pretty cool. And I agree with you, Broken Chef. I just don't want to. And like, sometimes that is okay. Like Nagash looking through. <laughs> what is in there? Amsterdam says, don't encourage the weird pronunciations from across the pond. You do you do you when it comes to Nagash. Yeah. Nagash. I, yeah. Yeah. No, we're right. They're wrong. You're right. You're right, hamster. Yeah. N we're all right. Nagash. Nagash. Yeah, if I say it, if I pronounce it that way, I'm going to go Nagash. Just to make it extra annoying. Meg and I are in the middle of a game with Nagash. How have Nagash. you been enjoying playing Nagash, Meg? Or I love enjoying? Nagash. I um, he's so cute. I don't know. He's like grumpy and stuff in my head. Um, we made up a special monstrous action for him called Nag. <laughs> he doesn't even have to be in base contact, and he can do this every turn. Mm -hmm. Every turn, his monstrous action, his free monstrous action, is Nagash can sit there and stew. Well, he just gets mad and watches his army die. Yeah, and we, we were kind of talking about it, like, <laughs> like the way they give special monstrous actions is it's first it's under the, under the rules and it says the name of it, and it says, uh, it says like s n the stewing of Nagash. Yeah, and then it says underneath of it Nothing. instead of instead of t carrying out a normal monstrous action, Nagash may carry out the monstrous action shown below, and then it shows that little monstrous action block. And it has, like, the lore or whatever. And then it's, it's like, instead of counting on a normal... Oh, no, you may you may say that Nagash is choosing to stew. And then it shows, like, yeah. him with his arms crossed. His little icon. And then the rule, the rule box is blank. Yeah, <laughs> he does no, nothing. He's just, no like, angry rule. Nagash. You just, you're, just, you're just letting everybody know that he's choosing to stew. He's just mad about his choices. <laughs> like, why did I just bring a bunch of wolves... And a Varg Skier. <laughs> what was I thinking? Megan's stupid Varg Skier just took out my general. Which yeah, is really I, obnoxious. I like the Varg Skier. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Because now, my, cause now okay. my, um in the middle of our game, now my incarnate's gone wild. Yeah, so he's lost his general and his incarnate. Well, I haven't lost my incarnate. You know what? I still control it. No, I it's just, wild, I thought. I thought... I, that's yeah, it's kind of weird. I still oh control gosh, it. I don't understand these rules. It just has to charge stuff within 12 inches. How does one control a wild incarnate? And that could be my own army, so I have to get it away from my army, basically, mm. now. Well, I'm going to kill it. Well, I'm going to just send it back, and it's just going to tie up Nagash for the well, rest of the game. Well, no, because I'm, I'm going to kill it. My turn just started. Mm. 
Anyway, I love Nagash. <laughs> I'm gonna send it I, back um, and... I thought it was funny yesterday when I rolled double ones on or the day before whenever it was I rolled double ones on my second spell and it was trying to cast it was trying to cast the portal so it was only five I needed a five and I rolled two ones which is, which is funny because that actually that is, is all I needed because he gets plus Nagash, three yeah. oh my god um and I I just thought it was funny you were sitting there and you felt bad for me because you knew I was a big old loser that game and you were like do you want to just say that didn't happen? And I was like, that's very sweet, but no, <laughs> that's not how this works. Um, yeah, so I, I am enjoying him. Meanwhile, and I'm doing... He's, he's goofy. I'm doing my ultimate no friends list. I've never done a, a no friends... I've really never done a no friends list before. Um, lose your friends list. And so I'm doing one. And I gotta say, I'm enjoying it. Um, but also I was talking to Megan last night about it a little bit. I'm like, you know, this isn't actually, all right. I just said I'm enjoying it. Yeah. Which is uh, it? I actually, can't have it I actually ways. kind of feel like it's not that fun to play. Um, but to, it's you taking my general out actually kind of made it more fun. Cause I realized I'm not as, it's not, it's not as invincible as I, as I was. As you had as originally assumed, yeah. thought. Yes. So you're going to have to try. So that's good. Yeah. <laughs> um, what does soup say? We've caught you mid game. Yeah, we keep trying to play and then something comes up. Like we run out of time or we get tired or I don't know, whatever. So uh, we just li we have it left on the kitchen table <laughs> for a few days, which is fine. We don't we don't always eat at the table. We're heathens. But yeah. Um... I'm I'm glad you're enjoying playing. Nagash. Yeah, it's fun. I I I've been wanting to play with him for a while. Okay. I I'm think gonna... you'll have fun at the event. This is very nice. I'm going to show this off here where I'm mm -hmm. at in a second. If you if, if peeps don't mind, mm -hmm. Meg, were you about to show stuff? No, I got a weird like migraine. Oh. <laughs> All of a sudden, it'll go away. Do you think it's the chemical smell? From... <laughs> no, I think it's fine. I think it's just like a thing that happens. Okay, we're good now. That was fast. Okay. See, see, all good. Um. So I, this is one of those, um, paints, this, this AK aluminum <laughs> that we're, we're in America, I, I know this AK aluminum that, uh, does that thing with metallics where you almost like feel like you're just looking at more lighting, um, which is cool because oh, yeah. that's how it should go. So it looks pretty with the purple. You can see the. The, I've, I've highlighted this, believe it or not, that's not just getting caught by the light. That is the paint doing that. <laughs> the the um, camera wants to focus on anything else I put in. So I that, know. that right, actually is, yeah. right there is the, is the paint. Yeah. Sorry, Zach. I know you were not happy about that. About what, Zach? Oh, the oh bumps. Your, your bumpy paint. Yeah, I do hate the bumps. I hate that when that happens. I haven't Usually... really had it happen. Yeah. I'm um on the back side of this mirror. I'm probably not, again, I'm not going to worry about it too much. Much to uh, broken chef's chagrin, I guess. Right. Ted <sighs> says. Yeah, Ted, you used your freebie. Lay it on us. Which doesn't even make sense, because didn't Ted just become a member? He probably... I think there's, like, a grace period, right, where if you lose it. So he probably got a free one last month or something. Or he's using multiple accounts and, and getting all no. of his accounts would he free. name them all the same, though? Ted W. Ted. Anyway, <laughs> let's read his question and not worry so much I'm about... Not so worried about what... <laughs> How did what it happen? The, what the hell is Ted up to out there? Oh, yeah. Um, Ted says, so cool that we keep getting these free super chats. I had better come up with something really important to use it for this time. So my real question, and then it runs out of space. Oh, That's very like funny, Ted. Yeah. Very humorous, Ted. Yeah. Our mods are very funny. And if you want to pay Ted a visit, you can find him <laughs> at 482 Maple Leaf. Just kidding. Mm -hmm. Maple Leaf, right? Didn't you say Main Street? I change it every time. I don't... You don't really want to tell people where he lives? I don't really want to tell people Ted's address. I guess if he crosses us. But I do think if we ever have a subathon that we should, what well, we should. That can be one of the rewards. Is giving out additional pieces of his address, mm -hmm. of his home address. Yeah, you have to piece it together. Yeah, like we'll be, we'll be like, we're going to start off by telling, we'll work backwards, right? 
we're going to give you the, the state first. And then we'll give you the city. And we'll then give you, like, pieces of the zip code. The zip, yeah. We'll give you just random numbers. You won't know if it's the zip code <clears throat> or that. You'll just have to figure it out. Yeah. By stalking him. But we will... And all these random places that you could possibly put together with all the pieces of the address that we will send you. I mean... Is that cool, Ted? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, are you cool having your home address be kind of a like prize? a... Uh, like a knowledge of that, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh right, and we get to heart these too. Yeah. Heart. Heart. <laughs> <laughs> Furthering on Ted's question, first off, how dare? That's from Molecule Thanks, Cody. Molecule. <laughs> <laughs> you maniac. Ted says in response. Cody, I like where your head is at. In response, I... <laughs> you guys are sweethearts. <laughs> Thank you for the donation, you wackos. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Meg and I were going to finish our game tonight, um, but we have a tradition where we go out with mm -hmm. whoever's uh, streaming for which margaritas. Tonight is us, but... Which tonight but, is just us, but Brett messaged and was like, hey, are you guys still doing margaritas? Brett has in, <laughs> Brett and Leah have encroached on this tradition, which, which is, is great, great. Which is great. We're happy about it. Yeah, More they, encroaching. They, they, they just, they're like, oh, they're yeah, we'll like, just Oh, we actually you. like going to get even, margaritas. Even when they don't stream, they so start the tradition we're just going like, to show up. Yeah, which yeah. is great, actually. I love it. Okay, well, I love it. Pretty soon I'm going to start, like, Cleaning up the studio? <laughs> no, I don't know. I am uh, I keep working on this guy. I'm going to put him on the glam cam. Okay. And I'm going to spend a little time looking at him there. Oh, admiring your work. Well, I'm going to just good. see if there's any good other things to do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Soups says, Molecule Ted, you're both wrong. Thanks, Soups, by the way. <laughs> you guys. Okay. Admiring my work. I am. Um, no. No. Your studio is a mess. Thanks, Chris. Um. Actually, the studio you know is what? pretty clean. It's no. pretty clean. Well, it's a little bit of a mess. It's usually at least a little bit of a mess, but I did pick it up a little bit yesterday, so it looks better than usual. We'll say. I think I. I think I'm gonna go back with the darker silver and clean up a little bit more here. Obviously, I need to do that. Um, I need to. I need to like rein in what's going on with the with the pendulum itself. It's getting. It's getting a little fuzzy. I need to. Mm -hmm. um, the flames. I'm very happy with. Um, Chris actually brings up an interesting question, though. He says your studio is a mess. Um, <laughs> that wasn't a question. Uh. Yeah, it's interesting. Um, what an interesting question. We actually have some plans. Um, this is no joke. I think the messiest part of our studio, um, to be 100% honest with you, Chris and, and friends, is Chris that friends. we are storing some armies here that we probably really don't want to be storing. We don't no. really want to be storing like full armies We should in here. give them all away. And so, is <laughs> that's what you want to do instead no. of... okay. I'm kidding. Um, so he got really mad about that one. <laughs> I'm just not, I don't get it. Um, anyway, so we want to um, uh, not be storing full armies here. And we actually are going to be doing a video, Meg and I, um, we think before the end of the year, because we just need to accomplish because this. Because I want it done. <laughs> we we yeah. both do. Where yeah. we um, kind of offer up a solution on storing a lot of models and not having to go buy like um, oh KR boxes and stuff they're like that. They're so expensive. They are bonkers expensive. Oh and they're gosh. great for travel. And they might be good. I think, like, sometimes, in some cases, maybe if you have, like, three or four armies and one of them's going in storage for a little while, you mm -hmm. know, maybe. But, um, mm. yeah, I think yeah. for the most part, we, we want to offer up some other solutions yeah. to that. So. so we'll do that at some point. Um, before the end of the year, yes. We yeah. will cover that, at least in a video possibly a stream I, I don't know if we would need to cover it in a stream but yeah storage and it will make our um studio slash apartment look much better uh molecule cody says so ted yeah i mean that makes total sense in a perfect world but in today's complicated society i just don't think it would be possible fit into your and that's it. That's, that's what it is. It. Yeah. Um, now, lastly, here the one that one that we have is from uh, Hamsterdam. Uh, Hamsterdam. I, 
got to um, see you at a Old Town Throwdown SoCal event. Oh, soon. yeah. Um, so, Hamstream says, are you guys margarita purists or do you go for funky flavors? It's Jalapeno actually, margaritas? That's a good question. That is a good question. Because this place, so we go to this place called Aki, A-Q-U-I. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. And um, they do what are called industrial strength margaritas. It's like a slushy margarita. So so this... And then <laughs> they make, an, like, there's, yeah. like, another cocktail, and they just throw that on top. So kind, like, of, yeah, <laughs> kind yeah, of, yeah. Kind yeah. of, yeah. yeah. Um, a, a little context about this place. It's a chain in the South Bay. So there's, in like, four, four or five yeah. of them out here in the Bay Area, the South Bay part of the Bay Area. And um, the thing that's kind of interesting about a key is that it's... Food is really interesting genre. It's like it's a like Baja Mexican. It's Baja like Mexican California. fusion because yeah. they'll do like they'll have like um, I don't know something is that like teriyaki flavor will show up or like sesame like the or they'll have like just flavors from kind of all over the world. But it's mm-hmm. it's largely coastal California yeah um, cuisine and um, it's all like super organic and have, like they like and then they have these like crazy margaritas that are like yes. insane yes. Um, so it's a place Megan and I have always enjoyed, but to answer, and it's your, not that expensive. Either. No, it's really Which not. Nice. To answer your question, Hamsterdam, um, I'm not usually a purist for anything, but I I make margaritas at home, and when I make them at home, I typically just make the the traditional margarita. I actually have I have a, a juicer, and I have juice jalapeno and added that in there before. Oh yeah. Um, I don't actually, I love jalapeno. I love the flavor of jalapeno. Um, I think it's the best pepper because. Um, after jalapeno, up until Scotch Bonnet, once you hit Scotch Bonnet, um, I think this is a hot take. Literally, I think peppers don't really have flavor anymore. I know someone's gonna tell me like, "Oh, I can taste the, the the flavor of a ghost pepper," and like, I just don't believe them. Um, I think people just people just start liking to eat peppers as like a, as like a rite of passage. Like, I, I can eat something really hot and spicy, which is fine. But jalapenos have a good flavor, and they're not too spicy. Um, so I like the flavor of them, but I have to say I don't necessarily love it. I, I, I don't think I loved it in a margarita when I did it. This yeah. looks very cool. Well, that's good. That's pretty quick. I mean, you can if you compare it to, like, when I started, it's just basically more pronounced. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I'll do a wash of purple in the frame, too. I like washing purple over gold. Yeah. It looks good. Um, there's a lot of ways to wash gold, and purple's one of them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's also red and green. I'm a big fan. G- green, and green. yellow. I'm a big fan of like and a... blue. Of like Rhinox Hide, which is like orange. a reddish brown. The reddish yeah. brown wash. That's 530. Oh, it's 530. Yeah, it's so we'll, we'll, we will end our poll. I want to hear um, about your story. Listen, folks, typically I don't like my po- our polls to be... Um, uh about us there should be more about the community but i figured i would do this one today uh what, what did i do on on my big day off did i go to the model train store did i get my feet and levels checked please uh, tell me you didn't do that <laughs> any any sps out there oh my uh <clears throat> definitely these are all things i could do by the way believe it or not even the last yeah. one in the bay area i could do um, there is a huge Scientology church very close to where we mm-hmm. live. So I could have gone and got my feet in level check. Um, pickleball players. This actually is winning right now. Um, and it is true. Pickleball is not a real sport. Um, just like there are names that aren't real names. Like in the movie Megan, the main, what's that actress's name? Allison something. She's from Girls. Uh-huh. What uh, was her name? Her name in the movie is like Gemma or something like that. Gemma. And that's not a name. Well, it is now. No, so Anything that's a, can be a name. It's not a name. No, I like the idea that they, they gave her a name that's not a name. Like, right. that's not a real name. Anyway, um, uh, gatekeeper. pickleball is interesting. Um, I do want to yell pickleball players. Because but, what I've decided pickleball is, is um, as millennials age, they... T- okay. Being, there are going to be a lot <laughs> of takes, I being, think. Being able to serve... What I'm hearing. Being able to serve a tennis ball... Paint. Being able to serve a tennis ball takes, like, throw it up in the air and hit it, takes a little bit of discipline and practice. Probably, like, you and your friends go out, you get a little help from someone who knows how to do it, you're going to be doing it by the end of, like, a four-hour time. Pickleball, oh, okay, and if you don't want to do 
that, by the way. If you can't handle the discipline to learn how to serve and play tennis, then you can do racquetball or squash. Mm -hmm. The problem with racquetball and squash is that then you have to go to a racquetball and squash court. It sounds like pickleball, a pickleball. Right. So pickleball is lazy millennials. Me. Uh, who decided that they want to utilize all these tennis courts, but that tennis is too hard. <laughs> it's hard. So, you have to run around. Well, so that you're doing pickleball too. Oh, okay. Pickleball largely just gets rid of the serving kind of like serving is goofier and like it's just it's just okay. Anyway, um, the worst thing I saw a few weeks ago is wait. So what? What is? Do you not even really know what it is? Like pickleball. I know pickleball. All you said is it's it's tennis without serving. How does that even? It's work? not. It's it's like a, it's like. It's honestly what it kind of looks like is like a ping pong that's played by people. I have to ask. Yeah. Have you ever played pickleball? I'm not, but I've seen it played. Do you think you should have an opinion on it? Sure. You've never played it? Of course. You can have it. You a... don't play it? <laughs> you can still have an opinion on pickleball. Okay, just wondering. Um, anyway, yeah. Did I yell at pickleball players? And uh, can, can we be I honest? I mean, you're doing it now. Can we be honest? Have you guys ever been like, have you ever... <laughs> Yeah, exactly. The pickleball court. First of all, again, sorry, there's no such thing as a pickleball court. So th- that's not a real thing. And but You just said it's a tennis court. It's like multi-purpose. <laughs> yeah, it's a tennis court. Okay, sorry. Court. I keep cutting court. you off because I Anyway, I should, I should have yelled at pickleball players. Um, or did I or did I buy a gun? I did not buy a gun. No. Guys, come on. Um, Look at this guy. Yeah, but what I did do actually is I did go to the model train store. Mm. Um, Meg was like, you really should get out of the house for a day off. Um, because Cause otherwise he'll just stay and work on the stream. Yeah. Which I'm sure you guys would appreciate, but Zach needs a mental break. I did go to the model train store. Um, that was, that was what I did. So, um, even, I, even that is sort of like work. <laughs> yeah, it was. I picked up a couple of things that I'm kind of excited for here. Um, I got, well, first of all, and Saray, I see that you're, you're in the, in chat, um, so I'm going to ask you a question, but I got this brand of paint from the, tr- from the train shop in Santa Clara, California, where I go. Um, it's called true color paint LLC. The model train shop puts their price over the logo. And mm-hmm. you know, you kind of can't blame them because the, li- the label is packed. Um, it's the type of paint. Pack. It's the type of paint that you have to clean up with acetone. I think that means it's uh, enamel. What What do you have to clean up with acetone? Sure. Yeah, I don't know. Some, I don't know. Let me see. What is? It doesn't tell you what kind of paint it is. Well, it might, but the sticker it's covered. Yeah. Um, from the model from the train shop is there. Anyway. Um, yeah. Nope. Just says paint. It's just paint then. It's <laughs> yeah. like colors, but. <laughs> yeah, but liquid form. Liquid form. Um, so I, I, I tried this brand. And actually, that is what I did on my pendulum uh, over top of the Turbo Dork to um, get this nice silver color. And I actually really thought it came out pretty nice. So I picked up um, two colors from them, I, or three colors. I picked up this, which is what I spray painted. This one is actually called aluminum. <laughs> Wait, is it spelled that way? Flat aluminum. Okay. I picked yeah, up... Spell it right. Platinum Mist. And I picked up a black from them as well. I actually haven't looked at this platinum mist yet. It needs a lot of shaking. Um, yeah, it smells like nail polish, Saray. It has it has a very strong smell. Um, when when you come by next, when you're at the studio, yeah, next give it a year, good whiff. You have you have to try it. Platinum, <laughs> platinum, plat, platinum. He's making up words. Aluminium. Uh, it's so f- it's such a different word like you would almost like if somebody said that to you I mean I remember seeing it like when I first started my job and I had to deal with localization I'm like why did they spell this wrong <laughs> oh they is, spell it what is this too? other word it's spelled like okay. aluminium right do that right next to the microphone yeah oh <laughs> like, okay why <laughs> why are we spelling words wrong <laughs> it's like no this is actually how they spell Okay, I guess they just want to pay more for their newspapers with all these extra letters. Pay more for their newspapers. I read that that was one of the reasons why we d- did away with some of these like extra letters in our words. Like, you know, all these like favorite and 
color has have like U's in them. Maybe when the way they spell this stuff. Oh yeah. Um, and I I I read this. I'm gonna stand by it until somebody tells me it was made up. But um, yeah, like like printers were like had a, had a hand in this or something. Um, I don't know. Like we don't want to spend money on all these extra U's and I don't know. Z's look cooler, so we're, or we're like, mixing it. <laughs> during like the American Revolution, we had that like weird F thing that was used anytime there are two S's together. Oh yeah, why didn't we need to bring that back? <laughs> we should bring that back. Uh, <laughs> Uh, by the way, so I want to go Zach, the linguists. <laughs> if, if Hamsterdam, if you're still in chat, I actually want to hear if you're a margarita purist or not. Oh, yeah. Um, I, I, um, want to go back to that one. Oh, um, yes, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, I like different margarita flavors, so I'm sorry, I'm totally just jumping back in time. <laughs> That's okay. I like different margarita Traveling. flavors, though. Um, the place we go to, they have a few different play, flavors, and they kind of blend them with different, it's almost like Megan said, they almost put, like, a drink on top of this, like. Mm-hmm. margarita on mix on top of your margarita um and uh they it's just great they just had a pineapple one that i was loving and it was seasonal and now it's gone um and now That's they have safe a word. blueberry one yeah. yeah they have a blueberry one it's which, good. which is also good yeah oh yeah you brought home the leftovers and we drank it yesterday i made i i, I got it to go one yeah i cannot tell what's going on with this one if i'm actually getting this sh- shaken up enough mm. It looks like I'm not. Looks like we have. Would, would platinum mist googly be, eyes be darker than flat al- aluminum? No, I think it's not. Which is good. Okay, I want it to be a little darker. Um. All right. Anyway, model train store. So I picked up these new paints. Yeah, you said out. there was a story. So uh, let's hear this. Story. But I I keep going to the model train store and really being annoyed that Brett and Saray haven't gone yet. Take um, them. Do a field trip. I know. I need. To, we need to do a field trip. We should next time. Like Saray's out here for like. Well, sometimes he's, he has to be out here for like a, a chunk of time during a day. Yeah. We should. We should take him to um some like Tool. Burger Barn or something, and then get some. Uh, <laughs> yes, I will always go to Burger Barn. And then get like a, a like go to the. It's just funny store. that that's. Well, where they're you nearby. Take they're they're Sir, right? <laughs> they're near each other. Is why I bring yeah. it up. Oh okay. Yeah. Um. I love Burger Barn. Can I? Maybe it is mixed up. I just can't tell. Um, Did you try painting with it? Not yet. But it's like not. It's not up on the lid like the uh, aluminum one is. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I just see like the gooey oily stuff up there. Yeah. Okay, maybe that's just. Saul, member for two months. Happy to have you. Doing some work on my Speed Freak Evil Sons themed Orc Army. Any plans to do something for Orktober? Yes. Yes. Good thing we have Saray looking out for us because he called this out. We're definitely doing something for Orktober. Best hobby tool product you think is underutilized? Ooh, that's not gonna work. Underutilized hobby tool. It's funny because I'm not using a lot of tools right now. Um, I think, uh, I don't always see people using gloves. I, I actually very infrequently see people using gloves. I'm not using gloves right now. It's probably because I'm working on an endless spell and I'm just being like, nah. But, um, I think gloves need to get used more. Like, why not? They're cheap. You can reuse them. I've been, I'll like reuse the same pair of gloves for weeks and then it just helps the paint stay on your model better. It's very simple. Anyone can do it. Requires no skill. I think gloves need to be used more. Is that, is that a fair answer? That's a great answer. Okay. All right. Just Um, making sure. I mean, I I have a reason I don't use them. Stick with the blue dot. No, thank you. (laughs) I have, I have for breaking eggs, I guess. I have a reason I don't, I don't use gloves. Um, and I could, probably get used to it which is i just i like i don't know i just don't like the feel i like to i would say like i look to be able to feel my model but mm, it's probably not all the paint going on it's probably not really without the glove interaction right like like i would i think i would be able to get used to it um yeah. 
That's a really good question. Well, okay, I'll tell you one for sure. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm, speaking mm -hmm. of going to the model train store, oh. uh, is a hot fire, a hot, a hot wire foam cutter, um, and pink foam in general. I think continues to be underutilized. I think as we've moved into the era of three D printing, more and more people are gonna, less and less people are gonna get excited about. Um, less and less people are gonna be getting excited about pink foam potentially but um it's really great it's really easy to work with um with the right tool the hot wire foam cutter is that right tool i think i also think a lot of people um do what people you hear a lot of people doing this with airbrushes we've all had a friend who decided to pick up their first airbrush from like michael's or like a craft store when yeah, they've my had dad, when they've had like a oh do, I had like a it's cheaper I had like a a, a seventy five percent off yeah, coupon yeah, yeah. one item and they get that airbrush and those airbrushes are awful and then it's very like and, upsetting how yeah poorly it performs and that's yeah. exactly how the pink foam cutters the the foam cutters are at those places as well they're they're not good so hey thank you for super chatting us i know what are you doing man? what are you doing um we would have just seen if you had... he says make sure acetone is plastic safe it'll melt yes which is what it does right like um <laughs> acetone uh melt that's what uh plastic glue pretty much is i learned that from brett actually just jupiter suggested flashing line remover the the mold remover tool i didn't say that one that's a good one i think I use that all the time. Like I swear by that tool. Yeah, people yeah. people really do love the so, GW one. I think though, like it, it's it's known to be good. I don't think you have to convince. A lot uh, yeah, of I don't know that. if it's underutilized, but it's a fair call out because I think it's a great tool. It's a great tool. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Well, you. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Oh. Um, Yeah, I I guess I I guess I think foam, pink foam and foam mm -hmm. cutter, but that's, you know, that's like a specialized tool that you use for a particular reason. You think it's underutilized? Yeah, I think I, more people should just use pink foam, work with pink foam and make terrain. But it's for a specific purpose, so maybe it's not a fair answer. Um Well, it's good for like basing too. I mean, you don't just have to use it for terrain. But yeah, it's it's kind of a bigger investment. But that doesn't mean, I don't know. That doesn't necessarily mean it's underutilized so or utilized enough. So that's fair. I think your answer's fair. Yeah. Um, but are there any other? Like more common everyday yeah. tools that somebody would, yeah, I don't know. I can't think. You can't think. You can't think at all. <laughs> yeah. He's a wreck. I, no, I, I, I think uh, I'm having a hard time figuring out what else I would say is like very underutilized. It's a good question, though. It is a good question. Um, but I'm, I'm sticking with gloves. Nin, Ninjan had a video a while back that got me into using a couple of different products, including Museum Wax, um, about, like, hobby tools you don't know about that you should be using. Um, and he had a few really good things on there. One of the things he had on there, Rudy Picardo, fan of the show, actually sent us recently, which was, or a couple months back, which is that little mini drill, um, I've been mm -hmm. using. And that yeah. thing is amazing. Um, in general, we all, like, pin vices and, and like, the, the, the little hand drill stuff, we all have those, or many of us have those and use those, but uh, the one Rudy sent us that's that's electric is really good. It's yeah. insanely useful. Um, it makes things like drilling barrels, like, just, like, oh, right. you would just drill your barrels now. I You know, that's one thing I don't do very often is pin. I'm kind of like, eh, it'll be fine. Like, yeah. not for Smaug, that was different, but... Um, yeah. For the most part, I, I don't pin. I hate pinning, of course. I, I do it when I have to. Nobody wants to, right? Yeah, I, I did recently with the cron spine because um, uh, this was my third cron spine pung together. And I put the oh, first yeah. two together at the same time. And, oh boy, did I hate it. This is a battery plugged in, right? Yeah. Okay. Why? Because I don't know what the flashing battery means in this case. The flashing battery line. That's fine. Oh, that's not the battery line. That's the memory okay, card. Okay, which is next to. All right. It's cool. just letting us know there's no. Uh, Megan doesn't know how to work the cameras, guys. The, the battery is the battery's getting a little low. We'll we'll replace it here shortly. Okay. Listen, folks, we have some other things to cover today, which is great. But I I think I'm very close to being. Oh, it's almost six. Oh my gosh. Time flies when I'm hanging out with you, Zach. That's nice, Meg.
Yeah, the drill Rudy sent us is really great. Mm-hmm. I, I definitely recommend it. I'm so excited to get um the do base finished our, on this thing. We, do we have it in our description as an affiliate link? We don't. Oh, we should do that. Saray, can you do it? <laughs> um, shoot, what was I going to say? Oh, well, I don't remember. Um, oh, Soup's brought up another good underutilized tool, and he said reference pictures. Reference pictures. I think that's really very true, and I need to work on doing that more as well. A lot of times, like especially with something like this, I'm just going to work out of my head, and it's fine. It's very low stakes. But, um, you know, for things that you want to spend more time on and, and really want to focus on, like, the rendering and the the shadows and, and highlights, I think we most of us if not all of us have phones like the take pictures so what i like doing um and i should do more is like take a picture of something with you don't even have to zenithal it when you're doing this right you can just like take your model take your gray plastic or after you prime it and just shine a light on it where you want the light source to be Mm -hmm. and take a picture and then you have that reference of your own model with actual lighting on it to, to work from. And I should do that more. I've done it once or twice yeah, yeah, and it's you've, helpful. You've shown that process yeah. before. Um, and it's it costs nothing. It's very easy to do. Every I think all these phones with cameras can turn a picture black and white. So you can do it all on your phone. Um, yeah, you use the noir filter. Sure. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's a really easy way to have like Oh, how should I do the lighting on my model? Just take a picture of it before you paint anything on it. You're right. With a light, the way you want the lighting. And then you're, you've got your reference. John McCardle, thanks. Thank as you. always, we appreciate your support. Yeah. As always. Uh, gifting 20 memberships. Super awesome. Lots of peeps here getting memberships. Very Congrats fun. Congrats to the new members. Exciting. You can hang out with me on Friday. Woot. Yeah. Yeah. John, um... Wondering what you're what you're up to these days. You getting any games in? You getting any hobby in? Yeah. Um, Tell us. He is in. Well, oh, I don't want to dox John. Don't dox John. You can only dox Ted. Um, My goodness. Yeah. I, and Molecule, since we keep saying his real name. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ted is Ted's very doxable though. He's so cute. He's just so doxable. His little doxable face. I just love <laughs> Ted. I just want to dox him all day yeah. long. <laughs> just want to tell everyone where they can find him. Yeah. Tell him. We can the, go give him a big hug. Tell him the his Google Nest account we access. We can go red everything. dragon him. Yeah. I'm surprised uh, we're not red dragoned yet. <laughs> yeah. I, okay. <laughs> um, don't put any ideas in their heads, Meg. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that's what that would do, but. <laughs> Um, I'm just keeping an eye on, I'm actually using the, it's kind of funny. I'm using, I don't know about you guys, but I kind of, um, here's a hobby tool I might suggest to people. Oh boy, what is this going to be? I don't know. I kind of like have, all right, I'm not going to say a 4k camera, but, um, (laughs) oh boy, sitting here and looking at like pictures of your stuff is kind of nice for spotting where you need to work on it. Like, what else you need to do? Do you, Have you ever done that before, Meg? Oh, I know what you mean. Um, that's funny. When I was in art school, um, I remember they would tell us, like, you need to draw from life and not draw from a picture. Right? Because, like, life has, like, things going on and a picture sort of flattens it for you and makes it easy to say, like, dark, light. Like, when you're looking at something in real life, it just, you see, I don't know, you just see things differently. Um, you have to figure more out in your own head. So that makes sense to me. Like it, it, it helps you like, I don't know, focus on the way it's being rendered. Yeah. This is me looking at it. I know. Anyway, I don't know if that, that probably doesn't make sense. I just remember being told that and I was like, oh, that I, I can see that. Like the camera does the. The thinking for you. I'm seeing like a lot of like some clean up on the front of the metal yeah. and stuff that I'm gonna do here. Yeah. Um, which I which I hadn't really noticed. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, and and actually, or like the camera adds ten pounds. The camera <laughs> just adds mold lines to your models. <laughs> <The camera. laughs> you can like. You can go back and get yeah. rid of them. Yeah. Yeah. Um. 
John, thank you once thank more. Thank you, John. For, oh, and for... thanks for sharing your address, guys. Send yeah. John some mail. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Um, yeah, send mail to the White House. It will make tons of sense. All right. Well, listen, one thing we're going to do a little differently today. Uh, oh, yeah. This is new, new segment. This is prompted by Saray. Thanks, Saray. So if you guys hate it, blame him, we, not us. We thought it would be great today to have a frank and honest conversation about the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. No, please. I'm just joking. <laughs> oh, it's got careful. <laughs> Where he didn't do that. That's not the new segment. The new segment... That would be a horrible segment. <laughs> the new segment is um, that what we've... Uh, we, we have a hobby critiques channel in our Discord, and what we want to do is uh, do a little critiquing of our own. I don't often dip in there and do a lot of critiques, and the reason I tend not to is because I don't feel comfortable giving critiques so much um, ver uh, non non verbally because um, so much um, everybody knows everybody's cool, and, and we have a great Discord right now. Um, there's no there, there's no ill intent in it, but it just helps you kind of um, put some emotion behind your critiquing when you're actually doing it verbally. Does that mm. make sense, Meg? It makes sense. Um, so I'm happy to be doing this on. Um, I'm happy to be doing this on on stream a little bit. And yeah. what we wanted to do is kind of find really awesome ones that we want to talk about, and and for people who are doing uh, critiques uh, or asking. And if you are interested, by the way, and you're in our Discord, um, anything you put in there will critique, unless you ask us not to. Mm -hmm. um, and there would be two ways to do that. Um, one would be to just post that, like, hey, I'm not looking for this to sh show up on the stream. And um, you may feel uncomfortable doing that. If you do, then just send me or Megan or Saray a message. Yeah. And be like, hey, um, just heads up. Uh, I, you know, I'd rather this not be on uh, the stream. Right. If you if you want to be able however to, you want to communicate it, we will listen. Exactly. If you, if you want to be able to post it and then not have it, but then not make a big deal that you don't want it on the stream, just send a message. Yeah, that's what I would say. There's a lot of people you could send that message to. Me, Meg, Saray, Ted, Soups, any mod you could send it to. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Vino, anyone? Uh, Yusef. Not, any, not Vino. Don't, don't send, send it to me. Vino. Vino will fast track it onto the stream. Yeah. Okay, he, he, he won't. Can't trust um, so what we want to do today, though, is something a little... To kick it off, we actually picked a few people mm -hmm. who are working on things um, and wanted to wanted to give some feedback. And we, um, this, we handled this a little bit differently. We did not just one of us pick fan stuff and load it up like we typically do and then all kind of respond to it. Mm -hmm. um, we actually looked at everything in advance um, before yeah. the show. Um, well... So it's, sorry, um, no, so it's not bad. just, uh, like, we do with fan stuff. Right? Yeah. Fan stuff is us um, getting, getting well, one of us anyway, the person who doesn't pick fan stuff, getting to see it and be excited kind of about it, almost really for the first right. time, right? Um, shoot. Oh, the other thing about the Critiques channel is that everyone asks for very specific feedback. It's not like, here's this. No comment. Um, it's a big, important thing to tell your, I don't know, fellow Discorders um, what exactly you want feedback on because it helps them focus. And uh, so Zach and I also wanted to go through, like, what were people asking for to be um, critiqued on? So we're not going to critique everything about the model, like, but uh, we will talk about try to talk about the specific things that were requested yeah so without further ado um here we go uh the very first one was by um F filippo mm -hmm. right um this is oh my gosh i forget this guy's name now Gr uh he's the new troll Trug. Is Trug. It Trug? Trug. Yeah. yeah um and he, he was kind of asking about the color choices right he was he was he was asking like, um, and then also the base being like blended up into the model. Well, here's how he put it. He said that he wanted to talk about the color scheme. wasn't just kind of not sure about the color scheme in general. Doesn't feel confident about choosing a color scheme. Mm -hmm. um, and then also how to work the um, 
rock in with the troll. And so there are rocks on the base, but there's also rocks as part of the model, like on its back, right? And also in its weapon, there's rocks. And so um, he talked about like adding moss and green to the rocks and to the troll to kind of help blend the two together. And yeah. so I'm thinking that was specifically asking about the stuff that's actually on the model. That, I see. That rock. I don't know if that's true or not. Um, and I didn't get a chance. But, so we can critique both or talk mm -hmm. about both, right? Yeah. Um, but yeah, so where should we start? Well, I, I guess um, the other thing we, we should just mention oh, yeah. real quick is that we, we weren't interested in picking things that we thought looked so amazing that we had no comments at all. Um, but that said, this does look really good. Oh, I, I was kind of blown away yeah. by this. We can talk about the things that are working well with it too. I mean, yeah, I like, yeah. I actually really like, which is a lot of it. I like all of it. Um, now I, I, I do want to say that sometimes I think when you're, um, looking for critique and you say something like, well, is this what's going on? Is this what's going on? I do sometimes think, Meg, I don't know how you feel about this, um, uh, I do sometimes feel like maybe you're, maybe the, you're asking, maybe he's asking the wrong questions. If he's unhappy or he thinks the model could be pushed further, um, but he himself is saying, this is what I'd like to do. Um, certainly, I, I think you have some thoughts on that. I wanted to say that the thing for me, and this kind of does tie the rock, you were talking about more separation between the rock top part of him. And his skin and stuff. And he I think the blue... Wants them more unified. He wants them more unified. Yeah. He doesn't want more... What? Sorry. Um, he he said something about separation, yeah, bringing more it. separation up. Um, yeah. Uh, either way, one of the things I was kind of feeling was that I liked where the blue was going. You, you mentioned the blue as well. Um, and I kind of want to see more of that. Like... I would want to see, but I guess that's going to put more separation, which he doesn't want. So here's what he said. Yeah, yeah. I'm tr I had, I tried to combine the rocks and the trog by adding splashes of green moss and mud in both, but I still think they feel too separated. Mm. Yeah. So he wants more unification. I really, uh, I do love the glowing blue eye and the bits of blue on the back. Yeah. Because it makes the eye really pop. It draws your attention there, right? Like, mm -hmm. the eye is this pop of, like, bright, bright color amongst, like, a really dark model. Um, at least in this photo. It could be a photo, right? Um, and so when you say add more blue, I think if we do that, if you add more blue, you want to be, like, focused with it because it will otherwise detract. Like, it'll take that, like highlight away which i think is nice on his face you mean yeah like yeah. It, that attention to the eye is really nice um it also looks like there's a colored light off to the side hitting this model like because mm -hmm. yeah, i was looking at it and if you look at the back side of the model it's it's the same side that has that like blue there's like a blue yeah yeah he has a few pictures by the yeah. way in the so channel i was looking at that and i actually really like I'm going to point at the screen that nobody can see. But I like this area here, the way the light hits it, and it turns kind of purple, like yeah, under yeah. the chest. Mm -hmm. um, he, to she, me, she's, she's referencing, like, his yeah, face thanks. and his his, le his left elbow. Mm -hmm. um, how there's like a little pop of light there as well, right, you're talking about. And, yeah. But under, like, in between. It would be his right elbow is what I'm thinking. The raised one, right? Well, okay. Um, the, okay. Our left. But, yeah. So I think um, I it, it's funny that you say that they feel too separated. I feel like the whole model's very dark and becomes one big thing. Like when which I look is, at it, which is not what you want, really, right? Or do which you? I would say you want to make the model pop a bit more against the the base, and this also could be like just a dark picture. I'm not exactly sure, but um, I think adding like some purple underneath like it, what it looks like is going on like bringing that purple up a bit more brightening it will help it pop against the base I think I honestly don't see an issue of separation going on here what do you think um I know like I I, I tended to look at all of these without looking at what the person said <laughs> 
Oh, and, okay. Well, I, I did then look, <laughs> but but funny. first I wanted to see like what I thought before I saw sure. what they said, right? Okay. And um, I thought that the face kind of like peeks out from itself nicely. Like mm-hmm. I kind of like the way the face is like the, the face pops. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I just kind of wanted the blue to be more prevalent. Um, like whatever. I I kind of. What's going on with the blue? What is the blue uh, on top? It's like there's like skeletons up there or something. There's some skulls baked into the the model. Like, oh, the blue is the armor? It's funny because, yeah, I, I guess this is armor. I, I don't think of this as armor. I'm just like, oh, this is a goofy troll with like a weird backpack <laughs> or something. Um, yeah, so... There's skulls like on. We have it like super steps. zoomed in. Yeah, right yeah, now. next to us because it's kind of hard to see on our screen. Okay, and the skull, the the, the that's armor. Okay, right. that's armor. This goofy model. That's funny. Um, but now that you, sorry, Megan, now that you've zoomed you in the, so much, see the lighting that I'm yeah, talking about. I do, and yeah. I feel like he could bring that up more, like closer to how much the eye's been brought up. Yeah, there could. There's room here exactly because. Oh, also, <clears throat> I'm gonna like get paint all over. My, it's fine. I don't need to finish tonight um the 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 steps the skulls on the steps form this nice like triangle yeah yeah. and so normally like this this is sort of leading you up right like the point is kind of leading you to this the top of the apex just this implied line yeah but what it does with the eyes popping out is it kind of makes this like diamond of blue and so yeah i think if you like bring out the blue within this very localized area, it'll help become, like, a really nice focal point. Yeah, you have model. to kind of, like, I guess, like, hearing you say that makes me realize you, you probably want to, you probably want to give uh, the sculptor credit and that they, that they set things up in a particular way. Go mm-hmm. back down. This is actually very helpful to have it super yeah. zoomed in. Uh, the other place I think you could add blue if you want it, you could do the thing Megan's been wanting to do on his, le- yeah. on his left arm, his, his indented tattoo things. You could probably see his left arm. Yeah, I see it. This. You could probably. That's, this is the left arm, by the way. That's his right arm. I that, can, oh, sorry, you're right. <laughs> okay, it happened earlier, Backwards. and I was like, okay. Uh, no. Yeah, I, I I didn't know what to do. I was like, I don't know. I, I think okay, so I, I was like, I think I'm thinking of the wrong thing. This I will be a short later. <laughs> okay, his left arm. Yeah. Below the that point, which I think is what you were talking about earlier. Because I think I thought you were t- actually talking about the raised arm. Okay. That's okay. why I thought. Yeah. Um, sorry. Below that little elbow with the bright with the raised lighting there yeah there's like these tattoos yeah tattoos see these aren't tattoos oh these they're like carved are carvings into skin. right they're carved like, into skin. I so that's the why color you... there works like that's the best way to do it unless like you're implying that your troll has like blue flesh or something well they might have a different color of blood that you could bring out go yeah, down maybe. also a little bit more mm-hmm the base looks pretty good. Oh, the base is great. And that's why, the base is why I think he's talking about the the top, the top. portion, yeah, yeah, the yeah. rocks, right? Because I'm looking at the base and I'm like, I don't know. It This looks, like the foot looks like it lives there. Like it looks yeah, like yeah. he shaped the base or the way a foot would naturally step into the land. Yeah, yeah. Which is hard. Like that can be hard to accomplish. Yeah, I think. Yeah. You, sometimes you if you do it too much, you get like a... Like a divot for your foot to sink in, and that's not normal. Like, yeah, yeah. The land wouldn't do that. It looks very good. But I thought the base looked great, so I don't. Great. I can't imagine he's talking about the base. The other place where I could go, um, okay, here. I, the the final thing I would say, go. Uh, well, I we don't need this. I I know where it is on his okay. left arm. Once again, one of the reasons I keep bringing up the tattoos. He's also got these warts on on, on his left wrist kind of area. Oh, look at the stippling on the fingers. You guys should zoom into yeah, this. Yeah, it's very good. There's but nice, the those yeah. warts could um also be a point of color that could be like interesting cuz well, like that's yeah. like the triangle point kind of like giving putting a little color down there could be interesting. I don't know. So, I mean, like you can see again like where the lighting is, the blue is hitting it mm-hmm. from um the other side, we'll say. Yeah. Like that's actually really nice, like that that giving it like a purple and then making the warts kind of bright against a very dark purple will make the warts pop out. Um, where here they blend in a bit; they're more closer to like the color of the right, the which makes skin. sense, right, yeah. with what he's doing with lighting. But, um, yeah, yeah, like at introducing some purple to these areas will help, I think, make it pop. But um, that's what I that's 
the feedback I would have. I would say actually that blue light cast is kind of interesting to work with um, on the underside to just make the shape more obvious. Mm -hmm. um, but to, like Soups has a good suggestion for photo taking. Take it against a black background. Maybe we'll feel totally different about it because, mm, yeah. you know, right now it's against the same value as itself. And so it's hard to, like, the camera probably um, read the black, like, the darkness that's underneath his head. And now that's the black point, right? So mm. that's the darkest point in the photo. You want the darkest point in the photo not to be your model, necessarily. You want your model to pop from the background. So, I mean, that's like a photo thing. This, this model j just came out, too. It's he's, a cool model. Been, I love it. He's been working fast, yeah. that's for sure. Awesome. Should we check out the next one? Yeah, we can check out the next one. Okay. Um, so we have uh, another one here um, from Broken Chef, who's Broken Chef. who we all know. Uh, if you don't know, he's um, in in the valuable member of the community. You'll be able to spot him in Hobby Hang a lot. And he was asking about the basing on this. Yeah, yeah, the basing, and again with the color scheme. Color was a theme. Yeah, yeah. In today's mm -hmm. yeah, everybody was asking for color. Oh man. Um, so as far as color goes, this is Nurgle, right? Yeah, this is the Harbinger of Decay. Nurgle, Everybody yeah. loves this model. I love this model, too. I love the horse, Yeah, of course. Um, but as far as color goes, the only different, the only thing I would say, I would, and you're going to hate this, Broken, but if I were going to choose, like, start over and choose the colors, I would swap the purple that's on the horse's, um cloth with the actual harbin harbin harbinger his cloth because yeah. i'm looking at that purple like everything's green on this model yeah and so i'm like oh i like that purple cloak or like that's where my eye goes first right so i would imagine you'd want the the harbin the, the rider to have yeah, that yeah. attention so i would have swapped those it's too late for that now Maybe I don't. Know. I don't know what. I, what I Jeff wants how to much do. more he'll do. Right. He, I mean, he does. I think he's. He might be. Or he might be into. I. I he's would like flipping say flipping the table right now. Uh, yeah, I agree with you, Megan. I. I want his green robe, to be a different color. Yeah, that's it. And um, but it also does kind of like tie in with the base nice. It's so not that's a conversation a he, bad he'll choice. have to have with himself. Yeah, right? yeah. But yeah, I would be like. So that's the type of thing where I'm like. That's, oh, I think it'll be better if you do a different color. It, it's just like, I'd be kind of curious to see that. I feel like, um, or like a, um, you've probably done this before, Broken Chef, where you almost like paint it gray and highlight it up gray, uh, black and like do like dark gray highlights and stuff and then take like a wash. So you could do, um, if you wanted green, you could take like um, Anthony Camo Shade and go over, the, you're tinting really dark colors. And it's a cool look. I did it recently on, um, what was the blue thing I did it on? I did it recently on something I, I painted blue. I can't remember what it was. And then I um, washed over top of them with. Was it that? Black. No, no, no. Sorry. I painted black. Like oh, okay. Corv it was like Corvus black. And then I did um, dark blue Brought over it. Brought it up to blue. Or, no, oh. no. You, you're like tinting blacks and dark grays. So tinting with, with brings dark, up the value. Then you're shading or you're lowering the value. Well, t or you're just giving it a new hue, new hue. Okay. So like I also do that with my boots on my witch elves. They have like these thigh high boots on. Mm -hmm. I paint them black. I think it's a like Corvus black. And then I use that really dark shy purple mm -hmm. over it. And it's like real subtle. So that could be cool. Like make it a dark mm. robe and then tint it either purple or green. Oh yeah. Like super dark. That's it. Like you're saying like a quick way to change the color. Yeah, yeah, like like do um because it, it it actually like I I you know me I love bright models but he has so much bright going on here that I actually felt like his the harbinger's robes was a dark color and then like, the horse is really bright yeah yeah and yeah. and the, the the green the base and stuff I also do love what Pat C said um, Woodland Scenics and I saw them yesterday at the model train store mm. makes purple flowers yeah um like tough flower thingies that would be awesome on here. And then I wouldn't use purple tufts. He says purple flowers are tufts. I agree with Patsy on the flowers. I'd use like tan tufts. Like dead grass. 
And it also has the flowers modeled on that he can paint. I'd paint those purple. Yeah. What do you think, Meg? Um, I could... Well, I, I don't have any strong opinions about the colors of the tufts. I'm just looking at the rider mostly. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to think, like, what could be done to help separate it more from the base, right? Mm -hmm. Um... Yeah, maybe even, like, transition, if you don't want to, like, recolor all of the green, like, even just transitioning it, like, towards the bottom, um, pulling out, like, a lot of times, uh, like, I've seen this on Soul Blight, like, the ends of their cloaks become less saturated, and a lot of, a lot of armies do this, but, like, turn it, like, super desaturated towards the bottom, because it's been dragging on the ground, and, like, in the sun too long, and... So it's losing some of its color, and then you have that, like, to mm -hmm. help differentiate it from the bottom. But then you run into the risk of, like, does it look the same color as the horse, which you don't want. Yeah. The horse is nice because the horse is really bright. Yeah, and like so whatever you put on top of the horse is going to pop, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, you could definitely darken that cloak, and that would also help. The green's also um, cool, too, though, to be you fair. You know, I, I love I'm, the... Yeah. I really like the green. That's what's, a, like, why I hate my advice that I'm giving, but I think it's... I'm, I stand behind it. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because it looks really nice with the, like, the bog that it's sitting in. I right? remember... I love this, like, boggy, marshy, like, bright green. Um, I saw you get some feedback that was, like, you could pull out the green even more by going back and forth with, like, washes and highlights, and I think that's a fair feedback as well. I remember what I had worked on. Yeah. Um, oh. When I was painting Dread Scythe Herodons, I did, Broken, I did their hair, Corvus Black, like put down a base coat of Corvus Black, and then I did um, some highlighting um, on like the edges of the hair with, I want to say like Mechanicus Standard Gray, it was like a dark gray, and then I took Drakenoff Nightshade Blue and put it, and covered it with it, and it gave them like raven hair, like very dark tinted blue raven hair. But it's hard to see that tint. That tint's not super apparent. That's like one of the things I, I would kind of toss out that could look cool. Is basically paint him like not Abaddon black, but Corvus black. Maybe like in the real deepest recesses, Abaddon black. Mm. Right? Otherwise, super, super, super dark gray. Highlight up a little bit more. Like on, He knows how to highlight up a cloak. So highlight up a cloak, I would highlight yeah. up a cloak. But with grays, and you can't go too bright on any of these because... With, with this thing that I'm suggesting, the final step is that you're tinting. You want to be think of it as like you're tinting black. Mm -hmm. um, so if you go too bright with the grays, they'll turn this actual color like very obviously. And that would look maybe weird. But depends not if on it, the material. It depends but on like your, satin, it wouldn't look weird. It wouldn't look weird. It would, it would and, make it look satiny. And if you wanted to do gray green, I think it could look cool. But if you wanted to do like purple, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, that's what I would say. I, I think like the rider being a dark color would be cool. And also make him just look spooky. And the other cool reason to do the rider dark color is his face. You have bone, right? Mm -hmm. Then that can pop a little bit more out. Is it bone or is it a mask? Well, it's a tannish color. It's similar yeah. color to the Oh, horse. the color wise you mean, yeah. Yeah, but it would pop out a little bit more. Sure, yeah. I see why everybody loves this model so much. It's cool. I, I like it. Yeah. Yeah. I <laughs> A couple weeks ago, I told... I don't think you were here. Fred was here. I know Saray's in chat. I told the story about how he wanted to do the shadow box. Yeah. Right? With this. Yeah. And then right away, a guy, somebody else some, did it. Some, some <laughs> awesome painter over in Germany made a really Dang sick it. one. And then, like, I was talking about how that, 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 uh, painter on Instagram mm -hmm. has been reposting his and all these different angles over and over again constantly. Saray is just like, Saray oh. must like wake up every morning and be on his phone and see like this he new angle. He unfollowed him now. He's like, I've had enough of this. I'm sorry, you guys. Um, Broken Jeff, I want to say, uh, I think this is the best model I've ever seen of yours. I really like it yeah, a lot. Yeah. 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 Which yeah. is kind of weird because we're like, oh, maybe the green would be cool no, black, I mean, but like that's the t that's what critique. It, I mean, it like, also it doesn't cool. mean something is bad just because right, it's right. getting critiqued. It's just yeah. I also There's... the green is also kind of cool. I know. Yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and like lastly, the green gobs coming out of the horse's mouth are. I don't use this term. I I actually don't like this term, but I would. I was gonna say chef's kiss. It's great, you know, because it's chef. Mm. it's great i love the the green coming out. i want to see like i want to see that green 
that bright, bright green, which I think you have going on, but it's hard to tell in the picture. But like in the the bog itself, so you've got like these rocky steps. It looks like he has it right there. Yeah, I would just say like maybe it's the picture, but if you could like really like brighten that so it kind of looks like what's in the horse's mouth, that would look cool. And you got your eye kind of bouncing around. I like the horse's eye too. Yeah. Okay, last but not least, and this one is a little bit, uh, this one is a little bit of, uh, 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 Can you just show us? No, I'm talking. <laughs> a person we, we know and love in our community. And what I want to say is that he, he came to a conclusion based off a couple things he was working on. Mm -hmm. And I saw that at the end and I said, you know what, if one person wants us to reignite this conversation about where he should go with his new color scheme... It's our dear friend Molecule Cody, mm -hmm. and so Molecule, Molecule. Um, Look at this thing. bonkers, this beautiful. bonkers, good painter, has been starting a Lumineth, is starting a Lumineth force, which is I've always said maybe the most beautiful army in Age of Sigmar, and these are the two that he's kind of deciding on. He he did the first one, and I was like, that's amazing. I love purple and light blue. Then I I was uh, I was having well, that was the rough sketch, right? Yeah. 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 Right. 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 These are these are like I mean honestly they, they do look pretty good but these are like sketches right painted sketches. Yeah. Right? Um, these do look pretty good though. Um, a lot of people will probably say this is their best work. Um, <laughs> but I I then I wasn't around much yesterday and when I came back this morning I saw the one on the right and I saw some people be like oh no we like the one on the left better but I'm just gonna say. We're talking about colors here, right? Yeah, like, well, I don't know. I kind of like both of these a Purple lot. versus red. It's Well, it's more of like a ma magenta, I think. I well, mean, so they they, they were chatting a lot here. about... They were, they were, yeah. They were chatting a lot about highlighting up magenta and how that can be weird. Because yeah. he, I it think is. he wanted to avoid this purple It becomes turning. like pink. Right. Yeah. I love both of these, but I do think I like the one on the left better. But I don't think... Color wise, I don't think he needs the high. Like I think that, like I would be like, because the armor's so bright. Mm -hmm. I I like how much he's brought up the purple. I wouldn't go up any further. That's like, you wouldn't really need to. Like if actually if you like hit black and white like a filter on this, you would see that the value of the highlight on the purple is the same value as the highlight on the red. It's just a different color. So you're right. Yeah. I wouldn't bring up. It's I, not I, really brought up much further. I wouldn't go up any further than that. Yeah. If anything. There's nice contrast because like the folds are very dark. Yeah. 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 If anything, it might be interesting to take the um, darker dark yeah. in the purple. I guess. Um, not necessary. It's hard to say because the purple is really just a sketch. So I'm really just thinking colors. Like I'm not thinking. Like because the one on the. The one on our left, yeah, um, is obviously not finished. Like, and he said as much, right? Oh yeah. So I'm just thinking colors. I don't think the one on the right is either. Of course not. No, because the weapons aren't finished. But it, like the cloak we're talking about, oh, yeah, and yeah. like the the armor, and he's done. Like, is that freehand on the armor, or is it just that he did recess watch washing? Because it looks great. Um, so like the one on the left is brighter. Like it's a whiter armor. Mm -hmm. Um, still very cool. It mm -hmm. looks like blue, and then a very cool red, right? Which is a purple, right? The ma the maroon, the magenta is like a cool red, you can say. But um, on I like the direction with the red, the red red because it warms it up, and that when you have like something warm against something cool, like you get a nice compliment, right? So let me ask you this: they bounce it off each other really nice. Let me ask you this. Um, you see the one on the right has got this blue um, under robe. Mm -hmm. He hasn't he hasn't gone to that on the one on the left right, yet. Right. What 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 color would you paint that if you went with the left oh, scheme? Oh, I I still like would keep it. I like the white. I like the choice he made. Um, what would I have done there? It's so funny that you asked that because anytime I do a robe like this, I'm just like, ah, eh, the whole thing's the same color. No, but clearly, it, like, it's, look, you can oh, tell. I. Trust me, I'm I'm just saying I'm lazy. I'm a lazy millennial, that you, as you pointed out earlier. Yeah, you're taking the pickleball approach. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> what would I have done? I pro in this case, like I probably would have either gone like black or mm. the same color as you know his armor. What about like, cream? Which is nice. What about cream? Like a well, warm he, cream? Mm, I I don't know if I would have done that. 
I just don't know. Um, maybe. I mean, that wouldn't look bad. Cream. It just sort of introduces another color, and there's a lot going on in this model. Now, here is the other thing to consider that Molecule mm -hmm. has to consider, and I would encourage Molecule to consider, and I'm sure Molecule has considered. Uh -huh. <laughs> See how many times you get Meg to roll her eyes. No, no, show. that's not what's happening. Um, <laughs> I am... Oh, yeah, we can be an eye roller counter. This army has a couple other uh, very important things going on as he gets to different units. Now, what you see here is pretty, like, a lot of the infantry, this is pretty standard. They have this armor and they have these robes. It, he's going to need sentinels. Those are the guys with the really long spears. Their battle line, they're super cool. This is going to work great on that. This is going to work well on everybody, but I'd be curious, Molecule, if you paint the guys riding the kangaroo wind chargers, the guys riding the kangaroos, or uh, Dawn Riders, the guys riding the normal horses. And then the other thing is how are um, the mountains on top of the giant cows going to look? Oh, right? I Those guys have like the so mountains much. up on top of them. And I think that that's really exciting too. Like, But, you you know, that cow will be the armor color. And then you'd have to be like, well, how, how does the rocks? I mean, you can paint rocks all kinds of colors. So that anything could work really there. But what color are your are your, are your wind chargers going to be? Your dawn riders, if you ever do those units, which of course you will. They're so cool. Who doesn't want to paint elves riding kangaroos, right? Like magical kangaroos. Like of course you want to paint that, right? Or even elves riding horses. So yeah, I don't know. I think I think I think both are really good. Um, but I do I do like the one on the left. A you little like bit the purple. More. You like a more purpley. It's like a lot of people in chat are saying, which is that um, I'd want to see the purple one armor done up to how mm -hmm. the right one was. But I don't think I need to, honestly. I think I would go with the one on the left because I, I like my Lumineth armor brighter. Well, that I was going to say, the one thing I would do on this red, you know, well... The one, it's the same model, but like the one he's pushed further. Mm -hmm. Yeah, re-brighten it. Because I think the bright looks really nice against like this like deep red. There are certain armies in the game. In and you don't, games. and you could, and actually like, sorry, like you could leave the cloak, the under, the under cloak alone. Like maybe highlight the, the very edge of the cloak up to white or, you know, whatever that that off-white color is but um i would say like brighten the ar the armor more in yeah, between yeah. like you know avoiding the recesses yeah i i think like there are certain armies out in both systems that like it's not that there's a hard rule that they have to go a certain way but they really benefit from looking like one kind of color scheme or the other i feel like in 40k i always kind of think tau look better when they're brighter when people try to do very mm. dark colored tau i'm almost never that impressed oh um, and Lumineth for me are like that in, in Sigmar. Like I want their armor bright. Uh, I mean, they have a rule called the shining company. They're called Lumineth, right? Realm Lords. They're from the realm of light. Like there's all kinds of reasons, lore reasons and artistic reasons and cool reasons to paint them like pretty bright. It's cool. I love it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love this. I was really excited when he said he was going to paint this army because I love this army. Mm -hmm. Um, and he is such a great painter, and I was, like, really excited to see what he would do. Yeah. What's the, um, this is off off the critique, but um, what's the story with the, like, the bull? Like, what, I, when I, I see, like, yeah. bull, I'm like, beastmen, but it's not, obviously not beastmen. They have, like, um, like, a lot of armies. They have, like, kind of different groups of people. Like, there's the academic wizards in this army. Uh, there's the scent there's like the main battle line guys and then there's this like group of people off on the side that have like some mountain connection and i don't really know their lore i just know that there it's oh, a key okay. it's a keyword one of the sub factions taps into it a little bit more these guys are like the basic troops of that mm -hmm. word and then like the cow it says cow is another part keyword of it. cow i don't know i should read up on the lore of of what's going on with why these White elves, cows. elves, elves. Because there's that big giant cow man now, Right, he's, I, he's associated right. with And them. I'm like, yeah. I want to see someone paint that so I, I'm sure Michael Co yeah. uh, or Molecule will, but, will paint. Yeah. will paint that. Yeah. Get it done, Molecule. Yeah. We're counting on you. Yeah, super cool. 
Um, yeah, really nice. This is this really is fun. Pretty. I think a lot of times we'll probably just do one critique. Um, probably. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. Maybe you get a good too. like 10, 10, 15 minutes on. Yeah. We want to. Per, per be critique. Chat, um, yeah. So if you guys want to be part of the critiques, make sure you join our discord. We have, we have one of those square thingies. QR code. I actually haven't <laughs> tested. I actually haven't tested it. Yet. Oh, it, it takes you somewhere else. Just somewhere terrible. Oh, it works. I don't even want to suggest yes, anything. It Great. Work. It works. Um, yeah. Join our discord. We have a hobby critiques channel and. Again, like post your model. Tell us exactly what you want us to critique. Yeah. Um, yeah, and we'll pick one a week and do them on Wednesdays. We'll maybe we might critique yours live on stream. Final quick check in with where we got to. Okay, here's oh, yeah. where I got to. I, already, I'm almost finished. I'm we've already seen that. that. We'll yeah. put yours on there. So there we yeah. go. I'm, I'm so excited to get the uh, the lava e based. Yours looks so nice, Zach. Thanks, man. It came out really that, pretty. That I really you. like the purple over the blue like that. Yeah, I think it, it was it was fun. It's nice. Yeah. That QR code did not take you to Slanesh. Oh my Club. gosh! Don't listen to Zero. He's an agent of chaos. He is an agent of chaos. Um, okay, Meg, yours looks quite fetching as well here. That's nice of you. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm gonna finish the mirror. It it'll it won't take very long to finish this. I, I'm just I just added a few Nagash, spot highlights. I can already see Nagash's hand coming out and touching some butts. Raps. Oh. The butt grabber. That's what spell. people call it. The we missed it. We missed touch butts. Yeah. Even, that's oh, what it's yeah. called? Well, that's, that's like the slang people used for Touched it. butts. Yeah, he okay. like uses a mirror to touch your butt from far away so he doesn't get in trouble. Okay. <laughs> no HR complaints. Yeah. They can't find you. Uh, yeah, like, who's been doing... Who's, who's been, been touching my butt? They're like, it's like a normal office and they look up and like, who's been casting a mirror spell? And touching people's butts through it, and like everyone else is a normal like human office worker, but then Nagash is like at a desk. And, mm, no. Like who do you think it was? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um. Awesome. Hey, we did it. This looks really great. I'm glad. Yeah. And it it this is a great like I said great project. I should have finished it in the two hours we we're hanging out and I'm talking and mm -hmm. but um it was quick. We have fun. And the yeah, the airbrushing took half an hour. It took ten minutes to paint the gold, and I probably could have finished the highlights at this level like in an hour this is a quick 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 yeah thing to they're do. fun I, I, and there's nothing to build either honestly it's just like it comes out like this you that, that was it this most one's of, really easy most yeah. of them also this was nice. this is one piece it's just in there you just clip it yeah that's it. it's, it's a very like feel yeah, yeah. good project yeah so everyone go get an endless spell even if you don't play OS. they need to do endless go, they need to do endless psychic powers in 40k use it somewhere else i know they're like they, they're so resistant to doing like aos stuff in 40k but like, come on. Could be a little background for your model. Oh, that's cool. I don't know. <laughs> your okay. pictures. Anyway, so this week um, we have, let's see, on Sunday, well, Friday, again, the you new members join me on Friday. I'm going to be doing something Friday the 13th related because it's Friday the 13th. Mm -hmm. So it'll tie into that somehow. Sunday we... Um, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Sunday we only kind of recently found out um, <laughs> yeah, our schedule. Sunday's the last minute. This is just because uh, Meg has been having a trip planning for a while. Uh, and then Saray now is also out. And so Brett and I will be here streaming on Sunday. We're really excited. I love streaming with Brett. That's C-team. Uh, yeah. Um, but what I will say is Brett and I... I'm we're actually, I'm actually going to see him right now. Um, we have not fully finalized what it is we're going to be painting. Um, and there are a lot of kind of fun options that we are thinking. So we don't know exactly yet what we're going to be painting on Sunday. So I, I, will, hmm. so I will say that. Interesting. Yeah. It's a surprise on Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Hey, we did it. We did it. Yeah. Um, folks, thanks for hanging out with us as always. And yeah. as we like to say, be kind to each other, be kind to yourselves, and always be creating. See you guys. Thank you.